Since update 7 hasn't been officially announced yet, I figured I would make a video and go over what I think is really the most important things to get done before it releases. Basically a checklist of how to prepare for Anime Adventures update 7. So the first thing that I would do is Evo your limited units. So you see here, I have my Kent but he's only just a mythic, he's not evoed yet. And since he's a limited unit, I have to have the materials to evo him before update seven, or else I kind of miss out on evoing him at all. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over here and buy the watches. All right, so I need two of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy one, two. And now I have the items that I need to evo him and I'm gonna go ahead and quickly evo him. Good thing I saved this for a video and I'm gonna go ahead and evolve him. There we go. Kent Overtime Secret. And he has got speed on him, which is pretty cool. The next thing I would do is make sure you have enough gems to open the new mythic. There's probably, I mean, I don't know how, how they usually do it, but usually there's one or two new mythics, one limited, one that's not. So I definitely, if you have VIP, at least farm 32K gems, which is, <laughs> if you're not like an in-game player or someone who has like all the units you need, uh, it's probably not super realistic to have 32K. Honestly, the best thing you can do is do your infinity castle. Honestly, farming gems is probably pr is a lot easier now that they added infinity castle. You get a lot more gems. But other than that, you can still farm gems by coming over here. You can still accept missions and they give you rewards. So I would definitely be accepting all these and doing them when you're not doing anything else. And then on top of that, you can obviously you can AFK or my personal favorite is to run cursed. I run cursed Academy and infinite cursed infinite up to wave 35. You see, I haven't even done wave 50. I run wave 35 runs. I sell after wave 35 and then I redo it. I, that's basically what I do as I farm wave 35. And I feel like that's the best balance between gem farm and getting like Riku gun eyes and, and capsules for star shards. So yeah, that's, that's how I would farm for gems and save up enough so you have enough for the, the new mythics that are gonna be coming in update seven. Speaking of Infinity Castle, if you have the time, I would definitely make sure you get to level 100 or room 100, what are they called? Floor 100? <laughs> I think that's, I think they're called floors. But make sure you can you get up to floor 100. Obviously, it's a lot harder if you're not a if you don't have an insane team. But if you can get to floor 100, you get obviously get all the gems that come with it. Plus, you get the uh, you get a sound sealed star, which is probably going to have Tengen from Demon Slayer in it as an exclusive unit. And we don't we have no idea how long this is going to be available. So I would suggest getting that if you can, if you have nothing else to do. That's definitely what I would be focusing on. I, I actually haven't done any of my Infinity Castle because I'm lazy. The next thing I would focus on and something I've already done is max out your, your units. So the reason I suggest you get all your units or your main team's units to uh, level 100 before the update is so you're prepared to run the next world and start farming whatever exclusive items you need for to evo your next mythics. Uh, obviously that's not something you do too much as a beginner or if you're new to the game but if you're like if you're just sitting around waiting and you've completed all your story mode and you've completed you've farmed your 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 limited time units uh, I would definitely make sure you have your your main team at least level 100 so it's pretty easy to do like I said I would just do wave 35 cursed infinite runs it's probably the quickest way because not only do you get the XP for completing the runs you also uh, you also get these uh, these cursed talismans which you can use to level up your units, and it, obviously it takes a ton to level them, but it's bonus XP that you wouldn't otherwise have if you were doing uh, infinite runs on on a different uh, world. I have some pretty big complaints, and I know a lot of the community does about starfruits. I'm gonna make a video specifically talking about starfruits, but. Starfruits are super important when it comes to evoing your your mythics. So I would definitely be getting a stockpile of starfruits. Actually, I just spent all my star starfruits evoing my my Kento. But uh, as you see, I have. Let's see. Let's start. I I would definitely be farming these. You definitely want probably. I don't I don't know how many you would need. Probably. I would say if you can get like 30 of each and then maybe 10 mythic, you'd probably be in a good spot. It's very difficult to farm starfruits. And yeah, just do your challenges. 
But also, once again, you can get star fruits from your capsules in, from Cursed Infinite. So wave 35, I'm telling you, wave 35 is the best wave to end it on. You get your Riku gun eyes, you get your, your capsules, you get your XP, you get gems, you get everything from wave 35. And it just, that's pretty much all I do is wave 35 runs. And it's just so much simpler than trying to do farm everything separately, in my opinion. And it, it's just, it's just more efficient. And now finally, if you've done pretty much everything else, um, I would just be farming Cursed uh, cursed Fingers. Uh, those are pretty important to give your units boost. I actually haven't farmed. Oh man, I'm so behind. I'm, I'm lazy, I'm not taking my own advice. I haven't farmed, farmed a single Cursed Finger this update. I just been lazy. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much what I've, I've just been lazy. So I've just been doing Wave 35, Cursed Infinite. It's pretty much all I do. If you've done your cursed fingers, you have plenty of those. And then I guess as an end game player, you you open for Yuta and you farm your you farm your 200 cursed orbs and Evo him, which is another thing. I have no idea how long that's going to be available to do. So you definitely want to do that ASAP. I imagine once update seven comes out, they'll probably give you another week to do it, but maybe not. I. I mean, these devs don't share anything with us. I swear they should be telling us these things, what's gonna be available, what's gonna be removed, at least a week before they re the next update, because honestly, it's just, it's confusing for a new player, obviously. If you're not someone who watches YouTube videos, if you're just playing the game casually and you don't look stuff up through the wiki or through, through YouTube videos, Honestly, you have no idea what's important or what you should be focusing on, and that's a big problem for a game. It needs to be pretty obvious what you should, what your next step should be, and what's important to grab. Um, yeah, even even just posting it in the Discord would be huge. So uh, transparency from the devs is definitely a big thing, but obviously it's not a detailed step by step what you should be doing if you're a beginner or intermediate or even an advanced player. It's just mostly. Uh, what I was taking note of what I need to be focusing on so I figured I'd just make a video and talk about what I'm gonna be focusing on and What what I've been slacking on mostly this is just a video about you be telling you guys what I've been slacking on what I haven't been doing um, But yeah, I just wanted to make a video share me Evo and Kento with you guys and talking about what I think is important the most important things to be focusing on for update 7 um, yeah, if I missed anything, be sure to leave a comment if you think there's something more important that I should be focusing on. I I will definitely take into consideration any comments that you guys leave. Obviously, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the video I uploaded yesterday. I rolled some passives on my Gojo, and if you weren't paying attention to this video, you won't know what I got. So be sure to click that video, and I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will talk to you all in the next one. Peace.